Oh, hi. So, uh, I just had some, like, additional thoughts about, uh, uh, about, um, Speak No Evil. By the way, I didn't reword Speak No Evil, but not yet, at least. Because I want to go for a run and stuff, do, do some exercise and go for a run. So I'm going out for a run now again. And, um, so, uh, uh, yeah, I was like exploring the animal garden, you know, kind of interesting. Like going to the fence, you know, like, I mean, like looking at. Like areas where you wouldn't normally go, like like you're going uh, uh, to the edges of the fence and uh, yeah, well, uh, anyway, yeah, I, I don't know. I was just thinking, like, I got some like thoughts about speak no evil, like. <laughs> Probably like a lot of people are just not gonna give a shit about this movie and I'm not just gonna be like uh, <laughs> I mean the way it's being uh, I mean the truth is that it's a fun horror movie you know so it's being it's being like in the Danish In a Danish uh, mainstream uh, media, it's um, it's being sort of like, uh, like, like, <coughs> oh shit, it's being like, uh, like it's the most unpleasant movie, like. The most <laughs> unpleasant Danish movie. I mean that that's just such bullshit. It's a fun. It's a fun horror movie. Come on, wake up, wake the fuck up. I mean, I, no, I mean I don't care. I mean, to each. To each their own. It's fine if you if you disagree. You know that's fine. But uh, well, anyway. So. <laughs> uh, so it's uh. uh I was just thinking that what if like one of the kids that they kidnapped <laughs> even if it's one at a time you know but um, what if uh, what if you like showed the room to uh, to the, that room to the stranger like, or to some stranger. <sighs> what about sign language? What about writing on a paper? Just think. And cutting off, cutting off somebody's tongue is not gonna gonna make them not be able to speak. Your 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 tongue is only one part of the system that speaks. Like I had phonetics. I had phonetics at university when I studied English, and uh, you know, you 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 use your whole upper body, basically. Also, your uh, your respiratory system, down right down to the stomach and stuff. You you use in in speaking. It's not only 
and your throat as well. It's not it's not only the tongue, obviously. I mean, so but uh, anyway. Uh, I can un I can understand uh, that the child is is going to be like afraid and stuff. It's probably going to be a lot more afraid, <clears throat> a lot more sad and a lot more hysterical and so on in, in than in the movie, which again is why I think it's a fun horror movie because they didn't like want to they didn't like want to like make it into some kind of like uh, you know. Uh, 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 Lilia Faeva or something, you know, like, like I talked about in the previous video, like, the little girl with matches, uh, you know, there's a, a, a Hans, Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, you know, like, whether it's, uh, I don't know, it's Christian Taftop, the, uh, Eva saw a Serbian film, uh, like, maybe, I, uh, yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna write some fun horror, fun, fun horror uh, fan letter to to Chris and Tafter. You know, not that I'm, I'm not a fan of him, but I'm a fan of horror fiction. So I mean, it's just, just gonna, you know. So I was just like wondering if, uh, you know, if uh, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't that be like? That would be like uh, I don't. Uh, I was just like thinking, you know, that that wouldn't like require. That that wouldn't re re require. Uh, 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 any speech. So so. Uh, but but to show the room, so, but. Then again, that I mean, that this uh, a house in New Orleans, they call the rising sun, and it's been the ruin of many a poor girl. And lo, you know, I'm one. My father was a tailor. He sewed these blue. This blue, green, red sweater, and it's been you know, hmm. my sweetheart was a game played <laughs> me down in New Orleans. Now the only pleasure a game like it is uh, out of life. Is rambling from town to town, uh, and the only, well, the only time a uh, gambler satisfied is when he's on a drunk. Now tell you, <laughs> okay, now to do what I have done. <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, anyway, I just felt like singing that so that song. <coughs> and I, you know, as a, as a as a as a user of prostitutes, I can relate to that song, especially if if the girl doesn't like it. Uh, the woman doesn't like it, I mean, like, which is, I guess this is a, like a folk song about, about, uh, about, I mean, the house of the rising sun, it's a, it's a brothel, obviously. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, So so I so I, uh, so Bob Dylan just sang it correctly like like her that's to do what you know it, that girl he sang girl you know because but the monkeys they they sang like uh 
we think buy so I, I don't know if how it makes any sense if it's a buy you know if it's a is it like some kind of like male prostitute or something and yeah I don't know that's like this thing you know the lyrics doesn't matter you know it's a cool song because it sounds cool because but you know let's not think about the lyrics something yeah, yeah but any, anyway yeah and so uh, uh <coughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, I just want to say that, like, I guess, like, a really interesting. I heard the director say that it was something like, "Well, what if you couldn't defend yourself? Like, if you were like a victim of uh, a victim of violence, and you weren't able to defend yourself." And uh, it's a very good, uh, very good meditation on that topic. Uh, um, you know, the, this guy Pian, you know, he looks, he looks like in his pretty good shape. He looks, uh, you know, he's very, very muscular. And uh, well, I. About the Danish woman, I, I don't know who she is, but I, I think her performance is, is very good. Uh, just that image where where you see her like screaming out the out the car door. I mean, just just that is is just selling the movie, you know. So so uh, uh, I mean, one thing if you want, like, like want to go that down that route, like a rainbow ref for life and stuff, like, like really. Uh, I mean, that's, that's an interesting topic about, like, there's so much talk about, like, how shitty movies are nowadays, but, but also there's, less like a more controversial topic of. Uh, of. Uh, well, this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but weird, but but why why not? Why, why isn't why isn't the women <laughs> in movies more attractive? Uh, like, uh, uh, for example, uh, I mean, she's not particularly good looking. Uh, the Danish woman, I think the the Dutch woman is really cute, although she's playing like an evil person. But it's pretty funny, anyway. But uh, I mean, it's like, uh, it's more like, you know, like, uh, uh, like, why is, why, why is, uh, like, like, like you mentioned, like, of course, again, it's subjective and, like, down to personal taste and stuff, but, uh, but, uh, it's just like, uh, you know, Uh. <sighs> but uh, you know, uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking. You know, I'm a chess player, so you know, I'm used to like having the right to think, at least in a serious, long game, you know. So, I mean, it's like Nigel Short says, you know, like, like if you, like, like, like if you have, like, some job at an office or something, you're just ne never used to really thinking, like, at all, like, like a chess player's, but, but, uh, 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 anyway, uh, well, I, uh, for example, like Ashley Lawrence and Hillary, she's just really good looking, she's really uh, beautiful, like I just 
like mentioned like some some women I I really find uh, like uh, uh, like I, I find like really attractive like uh, so uh, like uh, uh, uh yeah no also I wanted to say like b by the way before before I before I uh, I go just wanted to say like there's this amusement park that's like outside of Copenhagen here a couple of kilometers from here called Bargen you know it's literally the world oldest <laughs> amusement park which is probably true but uh, uh, so, uh, but anyway, uh, let's, uh, 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 so, uh, 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 so, um, uh, and I just want to say that I like, I never, never picked anybody off, yeah, you know, and I, I mean, I never met any, any women that are like, not even like, just for friendship, you know, like, I just like all those years I, I, I was there, you know. And again, like, you can just say, well, it's just me, you know, I'm an incel or something, I'm, it's my own fault or something, but... <laughs> but, you know, it's just to, just to, to, to explain, you know, how, how hard it is to meet people in, in Denmark. Uh, like, what you think? I mean, it was a great place to meet people, like, talk with... And you, usually when I, when I go there, maybe, I, like, people are gonna, like, talk English to me or something, like... They're gonna think, like... Which is, you know, the Dan Danish, you know, disrespectful way of, you know, like, uh, of, uh, just, uh, you know, being <laughs> as they are, you know. Uh, so, uh, 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 so, uh, in terms of uh, male friendship, I, I, I did meet one guy at a, at a bar a couple of years ago, uh, like, in the beginning of the Rona, uh, uh, bullshit, like, and, uh, uh like, like, uh, we, we got, like, sort of friends, you know, like, that's really... So, I mean, uh, so, I mean, I mean, it's a really nice place, it's really cool, uh, in terms of horror, I, I don't really like the horror train, because, as my, I mean, the, 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 that is based to an extreme degree on, on jump scares, and, uh, yeah, oh, by the way, yeah, I'm all over the place here today, but, by the way, I also, I, I bought some new, like, uh, cleaning equipment to clean my floor, and I cleaned some of it, uh, so that's really nice, uh, like, it's easier to clean my floor now, so, so at least, like, one p section of, of my floor is, is pretty clean now, so, I mean, that's, that's nice. So, uh, 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 all right, so, uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, anyway, man, uh, I mean, this movie, I mean, it's also, also, like, talks about, like, really, like, explicitly about, like,
like that that part of like narcissism where you're like uh like like do 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 you do what like 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 that was the comment like like so, so someone said with oh, the dutch are not so bad as long as you do what we say <laughs> so, you know, so that, that's i mean like like talking to people in in imperative voice like do this do that or something i mean it's like unless there's some kind of like Some kind of like reason or something, you know, rational reason. Uh, it's it's, it's sort of strange thing to do to another uh, to another adult person. Like, why would you? Uh, why would you? Uh, uh, Oh, what's this weird area? What the fuck is this? Look at this. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Is that some kind of like... Like Rona brainwashing machine? What the? F I don't know. It's like a ball here. What the fuck is this? Oh. All right. So. So that's like one of those like. You wouldn't believe it if it wasn't filmed because the reason why this is weird is that this is like Yeah, I mean let's just say it's 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 unclear unclear what this area is. I mean it's a, it's not a school, it's not a uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, 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 it says it's a, it's a kindergarten, but I, I find it very hard to believe that it's, it's an active kindergarten, obviously it's not. So, yeah, I might check, check that out, I think I'm gonna Google that, because that's just a weird area, and, uh, like also like sometimes like doing crime and stuff. And being unemployed. Uh, like on well on uh, you know, on welfare money. I just also I, I felt like uh, also like it's it's unfair because, you know, I, because I actually live here my whole life, you know, so I So it's like that's that's like sort of like weird like you know, I actually like care about Limby, you know. I actually care about this 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 community and, and area and uh and you know some of those assholes that that were like bullying me and harass me, I mean they're they're just like they're not they're not from around here. They they might be you know uh immigrants and from other areas of uh, Denmark, and it's just like, <laughs> why the fuck are you telling me? I was like, I, I mean, I like, why the fuck are you telling me to what to do in my in my own town, where I live all my life? I mean, basically, uh, where you know, I was like, uh, I mean, the area I was born and where I live, so I was like a ten kilometers area or something like. Basically, you know, I did travel in USA and and uh, and like playing chairs around around Europe and stuff. But but I uh, but I spent like like in '95 
95% in, of my life here in and so um, either here and or in Copenhagen. So, oh man, I, I really gotta go to the bathroom and and there's a nice, uh, nice uh, bathroom down here. You know those, those damned enchiladas. Those damned enchiladas. <laughs> That's Friday the thirteenth, part five. Sure. So, so I'm just <laughs> ooh baby, right at thirteen five five. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, uh, this is a fun video. I mean, like, yeah, I wanted to talk about that movie, but now there's so much other, you know, stuff I'm talking about. So, I should probably like title it. So. Something else. Uh, also, uh, I, I was like thinking in terms of like anti-natalism, uh, which is what my channel is about, the anti-natalism zone. Uh, and uh, I almost got like 100 subscribers now. If you like combine my two channels, my other one is anti-natalism zone two. Who was funny? Yeah, this guy, uh, Sean. Uh, shoe box. Uh, shoe box Sean. He, uh, he, uh, he, Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I look forward to going to the bathroom, taking a gigantic shit. Oh, I forgot my water bottle, by the way. Well, that sucks. So, uh, I just, I don't know, I'm really like, okay, now I just like, I just went into the prison moment, like, like I'm just like totally like, uh, like totally just don't want to think anymore right now. So, but I hope there was some interesting stuff in this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember now. It's just like... Uh... And what was that blue light? Is that blue light down there? What the fuck is that? Look at that blue light. You see the blue light? What the fuck is that? Oh. All right. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh, what I want to say is good news for Antonio Burton Russell. He said, uh, "There's this idea. You should be grateful for your parents, uh, to your parents for bringing you into existence." Personally, I have never understood that. 
So he, he nails uh, antinatalism like that. He 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 understands antinatalism. It seems pretty obvious. Like I mean, like like uh, uh, like, like like when you know, like when when uh, when in like a douchebag, like uh, like Jordan Peterson, he's uh, like, would be a major cast catastrophe if humanity didn't exist. You know. Like, <laughs> uh, like, like, what the fuck is he talking about? I mean, that's like, if humanity didn't exist, like, who would there be to, to have that, uh, you know, make those stupid sounds, you know, which, <sighs> try to communicate that idiotic, s psychopathic message. I mean, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be any, any fucking retards to do that so so uh, all right there's a cat here and I, the last time we were like looking at each other for like five minutes or something like so it sort of likes me I think it's a male cat, it looks pretty male. So at one point there was some police here, they were like, hey, oh he lost his he's lost his wallet here or something like, like he tried to run away and lose his wallet. I mean like what the fuck was that about? Well not me but uh, Yeah, anyway, so Oh, what's that? There's a funny sign here. The Green Half Marathon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's some, like, running training. Cool. I should do that. Oh, that's awesome. So every Saturday, that's training. Sunday, April. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Sneaks green. Uh, Thirteen kilometers, seven kilometers. Oh, you can just run thirteen if you like. Yeah. Okay, something called sneak. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I should do that maybe. Yeah, right, so I'm gonna stop the video now because I'm at the bathroom, so. But, uh, yeah, right, so I'm gonna upload this. Take care. And as always, see ya.